use of home resources the word resources sometimes is misunderstood by people when the word resources is used people usually think it is something big but the word resources just means anything to do with from where learning can take place even the things at home can make the children learn for example if a child is sitting in a room the parent can ask the child to name the things in the room for example there is a table there is a chair in the room there is a fan and also there is a mirror in the room so all these things are actually resources these are the home resources from which a lot of learning can take place nobody has to buy anything newspapers is a good form of resources which is present in the homes magazines all these things can be home resources which the parents can use in order to do different activities at different levels home resources are there for secondary school children as well as primary school children and kindergarten school children as well because the home is full of things from which the students can learn a lot parents can be guided by school and teachers to make use of home resources to help their children learn basic language literacy numeracy at home so things which are at home the parents can always use them as resources for literacy language numeracy it is very simple that the parents they just ask the children okay just count how many books are there on the table so they don't have to really do anything the books are already on the table but sometimes the parents do not have an understanding how to use the home resources so teachers and the school can guide the parents how to use these home resources and also if they cannot guide them orally they can give them examples in writing in some newsletter or a magazine or maybe in the diary to inform the parents how can they use these home resources in order to make the learning take place at home also along with that there is language help that the parents can do with the students and the children at home the parents can tell stories to the children in the target language it is not necessary that every time the parents need to speak in english in order to tell a story if the parents cannot speak in english there is no harm that the parents tell the story in their own language at least they talk to their children and they also tell them a story and then after that they also ask the children to think about it what is the moral of the story so the children are still going to learn something out of it even if it is in their own language it is good if the parents can speak good english or read good english it is advisable to use the other language which is a foreign language for the students and the parents if are using that foreign language that means the child is going to learn it quicker than those who are not really having this opportunity at home they can speak with their children in target language if possible if it is possible that the parents can speak in english then they can speak in english with their children but here comes an observation where there is a culture of not speaking the english language even if the parents know english language sometimes at home the families restrict their language to be used in at home and they do not want the foreign language to be used at home because they think that this will create a sort of unfamiliarity with their own language they want the children to be familiar with their own language and therefore they think that some other language should not be spoken fair enough there is no harm in that but at least the communication between the parents and the children must take place no matter if it is in english it is very good if it is not being culturally accepted that some other language be spoken other than the 
home language or the mother tongue, there is no harm in that until and unless there is positive communication going on between the children and the parents.